Hello everyone, Niff here, and I'm sure you must be wondering, Niff, this is Minecraft, and yes, this is not Minecraft. This is still not Minecraft. <laughs> this is just another quick video, I actually wanted to show you, a few people have been asking me kind of what, you know, like, setup I have at home, because, like, a lot of people, I've told them before, like, I use Linux and all, and not a lot of people actually know what Linux is, or how it looks like, and that sort of thing. They kind of just assume it's this big, you know, Tron-like interface with, like, you know, command line stuff and all that sort of crazy. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd just show off my desktop here. And currently, this is my desktop, I'm running Linux Mint Debian. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. <laughs> and so yeah, this is my current setup. Now, I mean, obviously I've heavily tweaked mine. It doesn't look like this out of the box. Not at all. In fact, you might notice this actually looks quite like the default setup for Mac OS X. Now, again, that's purely because that's what I'm used to. In fact, I use this in work, so there's not much I can do about that. But um, yeah, I mean, the nice thing here is even though it looks like Mac OS X, it's still as functional as, say, other systems. So for example, I'll just open like my file browser here. And you'll see immediately, not only do I have the dock down the bottom, which is very macOS 10 like, but I also have a window list at the top, which is very Windows like or Linux like or whatever you want to call it. But it's just, I can't live without this, I really need this. I just, one thing I cannot stand about macOS and like a lot of the newer Linux desktops is just the fact that they have no window list. It's like a sin. It must, like, you must have one. <laughs> and you know, I can minimize everything with that just normally. So yeah, that's awesome. So basically, I can kind of use both. I can work off the dock or work off this, whichever is easier, which is nice. And yeah. Uh, apart from that, I have, I mean, like, this whole kind of desktop you're looking at now, it's part of what they call GNOME. Yes, actually GNOME. It's a big part of, um, like, one of the major Linux desktops for, like, a long time. And this panel up here, that's a part of it. So, I mean, like, over here you can see you have your default, like, this is your applications menu. This will show you all of the applications I've installed, which is, like, a whole lot. I actually have a lot more games than this. This is just a few basic ones. In fact, these are off, like, Desora, and yes, they all actually work. But I also have everything else, like obviously Minecraft, Marathon, a bunch of oldie games, a bunch of great stuff. And in fact, I'll put a list like somewhere on the video, I think, just to show you off all the games that I actually have installed. And yeah, so I have everything else on there as well. So you can go there by category, or of course I have my favorites down here in the dock, which is kind of handy. And then up here you have your places menu. This basically shows you, no, it's not really set up on this. This is not my main user. I actually set this user up just to show you like my desktop, so you don't see all my documents and stuff and all my pin numbers and stuff, <laughs> so yeah. But um, this here, basically, you can go to like um, home folder and stuff, but what you would normally do here is you would set up like bookmarks. So like say if I wanted to put, I don't know, my documents over here in my sidebar, that means not only can I access them there from the sidebar in the file browser, which is handy, but as well, if I go up there, you'll see, well, it doesn't appear, oh yeah, there it is. So it actually appears up there as well. So you can have like a whole bunch of, you know, like favorite locations in there and it'll be, it's just really quick for accessing it. That's actually really useful for modding Minecraft, because like in Minecraft, where you store all of your documents, like um, the actual source files are stored in this really long, like weird location. You have to go through like twelve folders to get to it. So I just put like the folder in there and access it that way. It's really handy. So yeah, that's one thing. And of course, you have like recent documents and all there, and search and everything else. And then system. This is actually different than normal. Normally, this would have all of your preferences. It doesn't on mine, but that's kind of a, a Debian thing. Don't worry about that. So, um, yeah, that's just the default. You can restore that, though, as well. And so, yeah, up here I have some quick launchers. These are basically similar to the dock. But um, the reason I use these ones up here is I'm kind of just so used to going up here to use them. And, I mean, these are things I basically use all of the time. Like, you know, my browser, Chromium. Chromium is basically Chrome, but it's like the open source version of Chrome. I mean, it's basically all the... Chrome itself comes from Chromium. Like, that's... Chromium is an open source project, and uh, Chrome just kind of takes from it. <clears throat> if that made any sense whatsoever. And then I have music apps as well. Banshee is kind of cool. Banshee, I can probably show you this. Banshee, it's kind of, it's a more recent music player for Linux. It's very iTunes-like, and it shows like artwork and stuff. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. And actually it works with like iPhones and stuff, which is handy. So just nice to have that there. Of course, it doesn't have any music now, because this is the other account. And my other account is like, phew, tons of music. But I don't want to show it here. Copyright and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. And of course I have Terminal all up there. And yes, Banshee, I know. Thank you. And so yeah, basic. In fact, I would say this is the basic text editor, but this text editor is so freaking good. I, like, when I mod Minecraft, I don't even use, like, Eclipse or an IDE or anything like that. I basically just use this, because it's so freaking good. In fact, I can probably open, like, I think I had, like, a recording script here. Yeah. This is, like, a script I use when I'm recording video sometimes. And you can just see it's, like, this massive, massive script. But I mean, like, it, this editor, like, even though it's just for a basic text editor, it sees like, okay, this is a shell script. I'll highlight it all like a shell script. It's just, it's so handy. So good. 
and you can have like a list of files and all there. You can even put like a little terminal in this to build stuff. It's like, oh, it's so useful. So basically, yeah, that's all I do. In fact, my entire setup for, you know, modding is basically just a text editor and yeah, I just build it via command line. Because I'm hardcore like that. <laughs> and yeah. And that's basically it. You have, of course, workspaces up here. So you can switch, of course, you know, different desktops and all. And up here, notification area, and then just your clock, with your calendar and everything. So that's kind of the basic setup. I mean, it's just a very kind of, you know, simple and clean. The wallpaper I'm using at the moment is epic. I love this one. I've had it for ages. I'm actually going to link down the website where I got this, because, like, there's so many good wallpapers there. And actually, while we're on the topic, we can try out some more. So if I go down here to my control center, that's basically your preferences. And just go into, say, appearance. Look in background. Minimize that, because it's big. And we'll try a few other ones here. I won't show all these off, because, like, you know, like I don't want to just make the video all wallpapers. But some of these, I mean, are just gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. Look at it. It's so pretty. Oh, my God. You have to love that. I just love it. Oh, and in case you actually are on Linux and wondering what this dock is, it's a Vont Window Navigator. It's on for short. And, yeah, it's just, I have it kind of customized to look like that, but, oh, it's just it's so pretty. And let's see. There's all the good ones here. I like this one as well, although it doesn't work with my current theme. Let's see. Oh, there's this one, which is just Smexy. See, I used these before I had the docs, so they don't really suit it. What else is good? I have some really good ones here. Oh, you have the swanky one. And did I, did I, did I... I should stop clicking these, because every time I click one, I'm going to have to link to it. It's going to be a pain in the arse later on. Um, let's see. Did I, did I, did I... Ooh, this one's gorgeous. I know it's a shot of Paris and all, but like, just... Oh, sexy. So, yeah. There's that. That's the wrong window. Die, 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 die. Oh, and this one. You have to love that. You just have to love that. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. And again, it's really simple and all. And I actually have my desktop set so I don't have any icons on the desktop because I don't like them. I still have a desktop folder. In fact, if I go to here, I actually still have a folder. And like, if I make a document in there, you see it doesn't show up here? I like, you know, that doesn't have to be that way. I just like it that way because it's, it's much cleaner looking that way. And basically your desktop folder is your, your crap folder, like. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's that. I don't actually want to show off too many, like, files and videos and stuff because, I mean, again, they're all just copyrighted and that's just, ah, oh, awkward stuff. So, yeah. And that's basically that. Not too much else I could show you. Caden Live, that's the video editor I use. I've changed the icon a bit there. And that does, like, all swanky stuff. It's actually really advanced for what it is. Like, it's, again, keep in mind, all the software on this computer is currently free. So, I didn't pay for anything here. <laughs> and it's all free, all open source, all very nice. So, yeah. Well, of course, there's a whole mono issue, but we won't go into that. And Audacious is actually another media player. This is basically another music player, but it's very, like, very simple, kind of very stripped down. I like this one a lot because if I want to, like, play just a few, like, radio stations, it just handles, like, a few playlists, and it's, oh, it's just so handy. And yeah, that's that. I also have a thing called Asura, which is basically like Steam for Linux, and that's really awesome. And yeah, a bunch of other stuff. There's actually so much more I could show you, I just, you know, haven't been, I can't think of any of it right now. Oh, and as well, handy thing. This is called Kupfer. It's basically, if you've ever used Quicksilver on a Mac, it's kind of like that. You can just really quickly launch an app. So like if I wanted to launch my settings for Compiz, I just go like, it's called CCSM, so there we go, hit return, launches, very nice. This thing, comp is, is like, um, oops. It does like all tons of like um, silly animations and stuff. You can use it for all these fancy effects. But I use it just to like to manage my windows and stuff. Which is really handy. I mean, like, I have keyboard shortcuts to do everything. Like, if I want to rearrange my windows, I can do it with the keyboard. Just go. Whoop. <laughs> Completely rearrange it, resize it, do whatever I want. And yeah. Or if I want to actually resize it, I can do it with a keyboard shortcut as well. So basically, everything I can do with the keyboard. And yeah. Oh, and if that window looks a bit, you know, kind of glitchy when it moves around, uh, my video drivers aren't set up on this account, so don't worry about that. That's not normally like that. Oh, and of course, one other big thing I forgot to mention. For people, you know, like like me who are just big on the terminal, you have to have this. This is called Gwake. And it's amazing. This is basically, it's a drop-down terminal. You just hit a keyboard shortcut and it disappears and reappears. And it's basically just a terminal, but it's, oh, it's so handy. And it does tabs and everything. You can have, like, separate tabs and stuff and do various things. And of course, keep in mind, if you're not used to Linux and you're watching this, you don't have to use the terminal to use Linux. In fact, you really don't nowadays at all. 
but it's just it's so easy to do so and if you do it's really awesome so I mean like for people like me I must have this and so yeah and yes my computer is called Minty Beast <laughs> don't ask and yeah that's basically that that's actually my recording going right there I do it via command line because the program I use is just so much better that way and so yeah that's pretty much it it's actually a very quick video today, I just want to show this off, and um, I mean again, like I said, I do have a bunch of you in the community who kind of, you know, do use Linux and kind of ask what I do videos and stuff, so I'm kind of wondering, I mean, obviously I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on the channel now, it's not going to be just Minecraft, it's not going to be just games even, I'll be doing like just random stuff from now on, so yeah, I mean, I want to know what you guys think, I mean, like, do you think I should be doing more videos like this, would you like to see, I mean, even if you don't use Linux, would you be, you know, kind of interested to see sort of stuff you can do, that sort of thing, or if you do use, <coughs> pardon me, dying, yes. If you do use it, um, you might be interested to see some of the stuff I can do. I mean, like, I have script-wise, once you start playing with scripts, the stuff you can do is just awesome. I mean, I have a little thing here where basically I can, I can, it's not on this account, but on my other account, I have a little button up here. If I press, if I copy, like, a YouTube link and press that button, it actually opens it up in VLC Media Player and plays it through the VLC, which is great, because, I mean, you probably know yourself, Flash is a bitch for, like, eating your whole computer, so if you have, like, a computer that doesn't do well with Flash, like, you can just open up in VLC instead, and it's just, it's perfect quality, it's just so good, it's amazing. Plus, you can have, like, a playlist and queue them all up together, and just, oh, I mean, you can basically do whatever. I mean, VLC can do amazing stuff, especially on Linux with the command line. You can actually tell it to play a video, like, in the background, like, as your wallpaper, which is really awesome, I've tried that before. So I can actually, I can literally stream a YouTube video down as my wallpaper, which is just awesome. <laughs> I know, so geeky. I showed that to the girlfriend once, she's just like, are you serious? <laughs> So yeah, but um, yeah, and um, I mean, I could be shown off, that's very simple stuff to do, I could be shown how to do that, and that sort of thing. So as I said, I want to know what you people think. Do you want to see more of this sort of thing? And again, keep in mind, it won't mean I'm doing less Minecraft videos, I mean, I'm going to do the same amount anyway. In fact, the more stuff like this I do, the more videos I actually make, so yeah. So let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I shall probably, as for the mod, it's pretty much done. I was actually going to release it today. But then I decided to stick more features in, because that's how I roll. So yeah, I'm probably going to release it... I don't know, next week? Probably early next week? And I'll make a video, make a big fuss, get you all to download it, because, you know, like, that's what you do. And, um, yeah. Should be good. And that's pretty much it. So, for now, guys, I shall see you next time. And good day!